Hello! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ella. You're kind of in a shaky spot right now, but don't worry, we're going to move. Today, we are reorganizing my bookshelf because of all those books I just hauled. I don't have space right now, so I'm going to be moving things around, moving them to different shelves around the house, and I'm going to take you along with me. Hopefully, it turns out good. I think I'm going to give you like a quick overview of what it looks like right now, and then we can do like a more maybe longer tour at the end when it's all done. But let's just jump into it. Okay, so first I'm going to show you where this bookshelf is in relation to the rest of the living room because it's kind of hard to get to and uh, I don't know, we're going to have weird angles while I'm doing this because we have this big L couch. I'm not going to show you the whole couch because I have a ton of blankets on it right now, so it's kind of a mess. But you come behind the couch and here's the bookshelf. We have a stack of books there. But there we go, it's tucked in really nice and tight to the very top here. We have a bunch of Harry Potter stuff and some Marvel stuff. We have the, the gauntlet. This is not going to change. I think this looks nice. Also, the top shelf here, the Harry Potter shelf, is not going to change. I'm just going to dust it because it's very dusty. But that will stay the same. And then going down, we have some classics and Dune for some reason. And then some like random lit fix stacked on top. Below that, we have more classics and Greek mythology. And then the beginnings of some fantasy and sci-fi. So it kind of does not make sense. And then down here, we have our YA, and then the stack in the front is a bunch of books I just hauled, so they don't go there, obviously. Um, and then on the very bottom, we have our romance, middle grade, and children's books. And then, of course, over here, we have this big old stack as well that needs to be sorted. So that's what we're looking like. We do have a few other shelves I'm gonna go ahead and show you because I'm gonna have to put some books on those as well, but they're smaller, they're not like the main shelf. We're gonna focus on the main shelf today and get that all organized because there's only a couple books that need to go to other shelves. So I'll show you those really quickly and then we will get started. Okay, this is not a bookshelf, but I did just wanna show you because it is one of our shelves. It's very dusty, I know, I'm sorry. Um, but this is like a random knickknack, mostly Dungeons and Dragons shelf. So we have some game books up there. Uh, and then we have a bunch of dice right there and some figures. And then we have some Dungeons and Dragons books and cards and stuff. Okay, the next real shelf with books is this small one on the side as well. Up top, we have our Harry Potter wands and a map also needs to be dusted. Um, this is mostly our thriller shelf, but we do have this shelf in the middle uh, that's the book of the month books, but everything else is like thriller uh, horror type. So this is not gonna change much. I think we have like one or two books to add here. On the way to that shelf, just a quick shout out to the art we have on our hallway on the way there. Um, that is from Dark Souls, that is from Lord of the Rings, it's Sauron, that is also from Dark Souls. We got those from Etsy. Uh, we got that little demon and this little whale from a market. And then this is a night circus print that I got from Etsy. Okay, now onto the shelf itself. Above it we have some swirlies from Uzumaki because this is our Junji Ito shelf. So we have some fake flowers here, we have some nickety knacks here, and then you go down, and these are our Junji Ito books. And you can see Smashed, which we just hauled there. And then we have some like random graphic novels and some poetry, it's pretty random. Uh, and then down here, more random like language books and just like TV show books. 
So that is the whole shelf here. This one's not really gonna change at all since we already put Smash there. And then last but not least, this shelf is actually in our game room, which is kind of dirty at the moment, but I can give you a little taste. Uh, I've got a video uploading over here in my setup. And then we've got the Dark Souls corner over here. Deanna, my boyfriend's setup. So anyway, right here we have the TV that we barely used the game on up here. Uh, but we have some, the overflow manga that doesn't fit on the Junji Ito shelf. So Death Note, Full Metal Alchemist. And then all of my nonfiction uh, is up here in like memoirs. So I will definitely be filling most, well not most, I will be filling, yeah, most of the shelf actually with some books that are going to need to be moved. Let me tell you what I'm thinking because we obviously need to pre-plan this. Um, I'm thinking we move all of these classics down and have fantasy, dark academia, and sci-fi up here. I don't even know if I have enough books in that genre to fill that out. But then if I don't, I can start classics on the end here and then do two rows of classics and then my YA and romance on the bottom and then move my children's and middle grade upstairs maybe uh that's what i'm gonna do though i think i'm thinking i'm gonna at least move the sci-fi and fantasy and dark academia up here and i don't have enough to fill out a whole shelf i think oh i also have lit fic that i have to fit in somewhere so i don't know Okay, after some reworking, I think I'm satisfied with this shelf, but it does leave the rest of the shelves in a weird spot that I have to figure out now. Um, but I think I have an idea of what I'm gonna do on this one. So let me take these ones off and then I will show you. So as you can see, we did just go ahead and turn this into a classics shelf. So that means we have like a half a shelf more we need to fill with classics here. So we're gonna move this row all the way to the, sorry, we're gonna move this row all the way to the bottom. And these will have to move upstairs. I don't know, we need another damn bookshelf. So we filled it in with classics till we ran out and then we started the sci-fi with Dune and these are sort of sci-fi and then we started the YA that will bleed into this shelf but 
I have an issue. I have my beautiful copy of Dune that's always on display and I don't have anywhere to put it now. Like if I put it on this shelf, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, right? And it's sort of gonna cover some like good books like Pride and Prejudice, which, you know, I haven't read, but I assume these are all great books, even though I've only read like two of them. But point is, I would want it on the shelf where Dune is, but like if I put it here, I don't know, is that weird? Cause I already sort of have a display with the vampire stuff. And then that covers a bunch of books there. And I already have a display up here. So I need your opinions in the comments cause I can move the Dune easily, but I don't know where it needs to go. Uh, but with that being said, we're gonna move on to this bottom shelf move all of these off, put the rest of the YA, and then I still have too many books and I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Okay. These are the remaining books that I need to fit somewhere on these shelves because I already have a side, a big pile to take upstairs and these just don't go upstairs. So I've left a spot here for uh, the Hunger Games because I need a hardback version and I don't have it. So I think we're gonna have to start stacking on top of the books like I had it before, unfortunately. But I do want these books down here, so there's nothing I can do, you know? Okay, we are done with the main shelf. We're gonna, um, we have like a big stack of books we're gonna move around the house, but we'll go ahead and do a little tour of the shelf now that it's done. Okay, so this is what we're looking like from afar. See, we have Fourth Wing up there, we have Dune. Ignore our dust rack. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and zoom back in. We can see that this has not changed, it's just been dusted. Um, up here, we have our fantasies all here, and then uh, it sort of transitions into Dark Academia, which transitions into Greek retellings. Uh, this is kind of a really nice shelf, if I do say so myself. Once I get the second book in Fourth Wing, I might honestly, like, hide it, because there's space behind there, since I don't have a lot of shelf space. So, we shall see. Moving down, we have our first classics shelf. Uh, we have our folio edition books there, and then this is just, like, a pile of book sh bookmarks. Uh, and then... It is mostly organized by the last name of the author. I think it got a little jumbled up in the move around, but we got a lot of good classics there. Then you go down, uh, behind Dune, we have some more classics, um, more classics, and then we move over, starting the YA section right here with our vampire stack. I love and these very cute buffy playing cards I got and then on the bottom row we have the rest of the YA and romance so we have Divergent we're missing the first Hunger Games like I said we need to get that um, just some more YA and these two like feminist fiction lit fic here doesn't really make sense but we've run out of room so this is what we got all right, that is the shelf. I think it looks pretty good. I especially like the top shelf with fourth wing on it. Uh, so let's move the rest of the books. So the only thing that changed about this shelf was the Neil Gaiman there, and then the Gillian Flynn's there, and it's a little more cramped, but looking good. Okay, it's like the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> we just went up the stairs like five times. Uh, I have a big stack. Let me show you. Little stack of books. We just carted up the stairs and we're going to start filling them in.
is the final look. Sort of a, a mix of everything, but hey, it fits, so. Alrighty guys, that is gonna be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm pretty happy with what we've done. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Got it memorized? And I will see you in the next one. Bye!